Alright, what's up? I'm Charm City 187, y'all. Apologize for the lighting in case you can't see too well. Too lazy to get all the shit out, but, um, anyways, Ravens won, beat the Titans 21 to 7. Um, luckily, luckily. Um, even though it was kind of a blowout, it didn't look like it was going to be that way. Uh, started out, Tennessee drove all the way down the field. They get to the one-yard line and fumble the ball. Our offense comes out. Justin Forsett, first play, five-yard run. Second play, no-yard run. So it's third and five. And for some reason, Joe hands the ball back off to Justin and gets nowhere. So now our defense has to come right back out on the field. Our offense only ran four plays the whole entire first quarter. And the second drive, they gave up a like an eight-minute-long touchdown drive, which was right then I was like, man, this is going to be a long fucking game and a long two weeks because we're, we're on the bye week 11. So it's going to be a much better, better week winning and going into the bye than it would have been losing going into the bye. But um, I find it funny that Joe is getting outperformed by a second game rookie quarterback on the road. Like, he's a, he's a $120 million quarterback. I, I, I still don't understand this shit. Joe was 16 of 27 for 169 yards with one touchdown. Mettenberger was 16 of 27, exactly the same, for 179 yards with one touchdown and one interception. Um... If C.J. Mosley would have intercepted that ball on the first play of the game, I think we would have had a shutout. Um, or if Joe would have done something to get a first down on the first drive and the defense didn't have to walk straight back out on the fucking field after being on the field for like eight minutes, we would have we would have had a shutout. I don't know, yo. It's just it, Flacco, for some reason, ruins the, the rest of the game for me for some I, he frustrates me so much watching him play, yo, because they're blitzing him every play. He has receivers running wide open, but for some reason he wants to throw it to the person that's covered up the most. Today, instead of overthrowing balls, he was bouncing passes, and it, it was it was ugly for three quarters. Um, Justin Forsett saved us. Bernard Pierce didn't have too bad of a game. Uh, Forsett had 20 carries for 112 yards with two touchdowns, which I probably would have won some serious fucking money if I didn't listen to my brother and say I was going to play Forsett. And he said, no, don't. Talaferro gets all the goal line carries. And didn't play him, and he gets two touchdowns. And I finished in, like, 2,000th place. And I was only, like, 30-some points behind the top dude and like the top like thousand get like four hundred bucks or some shit. But um yeah, for set twenty carries, 112 yards, two touchdowns. Bernard Pierce, eight carries for thirty one yards, but he had a couple nice carries, like ten yards. Ten, I think one was like fourteen yards. Um Torrey Smith, five receptions, seventy five yards with a touchdown. I don't know, I just don't like Torrey Smith. For some reason, yo, when I see him catch the ball, he doesn't catch the ball with his hands. He catches the ball with his wrist. Like on the touchdown, the touchdown catch, he didn't catch the ball with his hands. He caught it in between his wrist. It's like he don't know how to catch. Jacoby looked good today, returning kicks. For some reason, yo, he don't. Joe don't want to throw him the ball on the offense, and I know why. It's because he dropped a bunch of passes the first three games. But you got to give him a shot. I mean, shit, the one play, it was like the end of the third quarter. Steve Smith's running across the middle of the field with three guys around him, and he throws the ball to Steve Smith when he could have easily have thrown the ball to uh, Jacoby Jones on a slant going across the middle of the field, but under Steve Smith, and no one was even covering him, and he would have he would have at least got the first down, if not ran it all the way in for a touchdown. But defense looked great. I don't even know how many sacks we have. Five sacks. Doomerville and Suggs, I think they both had two and a half sacks. 
Another thing that I really don't like, Harbaugh, man. He's he's too indecisive. Like when that uh, sack, the sub sack that should have been a safety. Why not just throw the pen challenge flag? Like the game, the game it was like 14-7 there. I mean, I know, I know why he didn't because he was like, fuck it, we'll just stop him and I'll have to punt from the end zone. But still, I mean, I don't know. He's just too indecisive. He's standing there on the sidelines like he wants to throw the flag. But I was just waiting for him to call a timeout and then throw the flag. That's what he usually does. But, yeah, this will be a much better week off having this win. And it's even better with the fucking Steelers getting romped by the Jets. Oh, my God, yo, that was hilarious. But yeah. Alright, I'm out. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.